Okay, so it is like you. braces, uh -huh. but okay. it's invisible. Oh, yeah, okay. So I can remove uh, yeah. it like. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, oh. Okay, but is okay, it. Okay. okay, if you don't put it. Oh my god, that is so good. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. No, I okay. want to say something. Morning. You're finally Morning. wearing something other than black. Morning. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's such a nice is. top. Thank you. Finally, maybe coffee. <laughs> Everyone looks so preppy. <laughs> I know. Oh, we're all like kind of nice. bright yeah. today. Yeah, we're all Thank we you. all have white today. Yeah, the three of us. Right. Girls are white. Okay, why don't you yeah, give right. a rundown of what you're wearing today? Okay, so I tried to go for something casual. Yesterday I was a little bit too dressed up. I feel it's just a mood. Mm -hmm. So I love these pants because they're super fitted. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they're so comfy. I can like do squats in them. Nice. You know that is how I judge Wait, good well, pants. I love the accessories. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Okay. How about you? What are you guys um, wearing? How much you go? Uh, How did you um, <laughs> I am wearing today a little bit of a put together. I love this pants and a plain white t shirt from Topman, of course. Gorgeous. And I have this just like uh, an outerwear. I mean, I you like to wear it as a shirt, but just to switch it up a little bit. You, you, look, twist. you okay. look like you just came out of a catalog. Oh, yeah, says the really model. Uh, is this a validation? <laughs> How about the model tell him? Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay. I don't mean to be shady, but Ladies. if you didn't have that shirt, you look like you're coming out of school. I do. <laughs> I do. I do. I do look at this like preppy schoolboy look. <laughs> what's that for? <laughs> when you at high school, ah? Uh? Okay, next. Okay, so. I'm not as preppy as you guys. I'm going for a really dress down look. Sporty? Sweats a little bit. So yeah, casual. Sure. Casual. So yeah, plain tee, converse, white shoes, and slacks. Right. Easy. What? Comfy. Like the weather today. You know? Easy, breezy, beautiful. Easy, breezy, beautiful. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what about you? Polka dot style. I actually have never worn polka dots until today. It was never my thing, but I like it. I like how it looks on me. I like it. Yeah, I nice love the and I like the black and white like simplicity uh -huh. of the outfit, and I feel good. So nice. yeah, if you feel good, they look so comfortable. Yeah. Wait, how about you? Can I wear comfy. Yeah, sure. <laughs> how about you? Okay. I love the cardigan, by the way. I do like my peekaboo buttons on buttons. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. <laughs> What's I'm gonna say here. Keep my business. Who's done over here? <laughs> okay, come on, come on. But don't stay too far away. Oh, my. <laughs> come on, what? What else? Do you well, have I've got a bloated tummy. Good <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. morning. It's the morning we understand. I had Good coffee girl. this morning, okay? Boop, boop. But hey. Remember, guys. <laughs> what do you? What do you? What do you think? I went for something a little bit more formal today, oh, as opposed yeah. to yesterday. So a bit of a, you know, shirt with buttons. That would be to Wait, keep it guys, cool. Wait, guys, what do you think of me and Lev standing next to each other? Do you think like we're going out somewhere together? To be honest, I would think so because I like, imagine. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. maybe we should make another TikTok video. Know. Probably. Mm -hmm. That's cute. No one matches my outfit. No, you can stand out. Uh, right, yeah, I can be alone. Out. Yeah. Stand out. Like the one that. <laughs> no, you guys can do it back to school together. Actually, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's true. Okay, lah. <laughs> I be sec four, you be sec one. <laughs> okay. So anyway, like, have you guys eaten? Yeah, no, I had breakfast. I'm just gonna. I had coffee. Something. Coffee. Uh, Should you be having coffee? You, you I don't know. <laughs> Everything is fine. Too much energy. Oh, can I have water? No, okay. No. Thank you. No problem. <gasps> oh, you guys have butter. Thank you. Yes, yes we have we butter. butter. Thank you. I spread it on my face like. <laughs> Oh, glistening in the I have shea butter. I need that glow. Yeah. Actually, good idea. What do you think about zero and... Now you remind me. One? Yeah. They're both oh, you're gonna my do shea butter. I prefer okay. the... Nah, for me. No, zero is okay. Can I just ask, what do you guys my... think that we are going to do today? Like, what are the challenges you might think might come up or anything like that? Oh, no idea, but yes, the like... challenges were so fun. Mm -hmm. We got to see the wild side of some people, the competitive side of some people. Uh -huh. 
Like, <laughs> yesterday, anyway. The competitors, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Because okay. we were recording TikToks. Mm. Uh, TikTok, really. Guys, <laughs> not me let Mr. Buffalo speak. <laughs> oh! oh. oh. Mr. Mark Buffalo. We'll get another yes. round of Buffalo. Yes. Like you are so confident, yeah. so confidently wrong. Oh, wait, sorry. Wait, are you wearing this leaf shirt because Pooh Bear lives in the jungle? <laughs> girl. Girl, you don't have no. Edinburgh is, girl. Uh, girl. Okay. Stop holding grudges. So, like, what do you yeah. guys think? Like, what's gonna happen today or whatever? Well, I, I hope. No, but this... we're gonna. Oh. I can't wait to exercise. I don't know. Something I, active? Exactly. I, I, think, I love working out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like because we haven't done anything that works yeah. our body out, I think. That's why your girl is so good. Exactly. Me too. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, so maybe some workout, maybe dance. I don't know. Dance! Something active. Please! Yeah, what's your favorite thing active? Uh, I always do hip workouts. Oh, HIIG. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait. I heard hip. Yeah, he, he try to <laughs> work out. But the thing is, right? Like, I feel it's like um, what do you call that? I've read that doing a lot of hit workouts is not good for you. Why? Because I, I, you should do strength training. No, I think it's, 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 maybe everyone is different because everyone's body reacts differently to different, okay. different exercises. So maybe you just haven't found that niche area yeah. that helps you. You know. So like, I know some people that love cycling uh. and they lose. Like wait really fast, or some people love yeah. running. Yeah. But I think it depends. You just it's nice you can explore everything and then yeah, see what sure. works for you. Have you know, I'm sure everyone here you know have yeah, their yeah. own like routine, yeah. which is nice. It depends on your objective as well. Like whether you want to get muscle or you want to like lose sweat, sweat yeah. and things like that, right? True. Or gain flexibility. Like boxing, because I don't know. Like maybe. I have yeah, oh I my gosh! It. Why? I knew oh. it because not not I knew because like you have this like boxer vibes. Yeah, yeah. boxer vibes. Yeah. Because as like, in like you uh, want to start a fight. No. <laughs> Is it because the posture is really bad? No, it's because like <laughs> you give a really like a cool toned up look. I wouldn't think that you wouldn't like like to exercise. Uh, do you, you know what? Really like, yeah. I don't like exercising my upper body okay. because it makes my chest flat. I mean, I could have had this. Okay, like, no, I'll leave. <laughs> Girl. But instead, <laughs> but instead, it's just humble. Humble, 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 humble I have to you because when you were doing your makeup just now, girl, your ass looks fine. Oh, girl! Stop <laughs> it! I see you checking each other out, huh? How about you guys? What do you guys do? I see I you guys do, are in pretty good shape. I do fencing. I think it's we know. kind of a Anything kind of a cool workout because it combines. It's not as violent as. Oh. <laughs> it's not as, <laughs> nice one. Oopsies. It's not as violent as boxing, but then at the same time, it combines all the muscle groups. Could you teach me? Of course, definitely. Oh, foot Wait, Wait, Could you teach us? We have any like sword-like things? Sword. You can use anything. So as a sword. You don't actually need a sword to oh, okay. it in the beginning. Oh, what do I get? You can. You know, <laughs> the first thing that you need to do is just find the right position. Okay. And then. You gotta kind of move and then increase the speed. So a lot of people Wait, use it for. Uh, yeah. Can I just ask, yes, Mister? Please. So it's like, uh, like, well, uh, how, how do you determine when someone is like, how do you get the point you gotta, when you tackle? Well, you gotta poke the person, right? You gotta, oh, we call it touch. Oh, okay. okay. So yeah. as long as you touch, yeah, and that's it. You gotta. <gasps> not distancing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, banana. Oh yeah. So there are three types of weapons, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so okay. Okay. Then what if you're out? Then you lose the point. Yeah. Mm. But if I hit you, I get the point. If you hit me, you get the point. Oh, if you okay, hit each other, okay, okay. Both of us we should try point. it. Definitely. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're oh, gonna fine. teach me the footwork. What about you, Luke? Uh, you know okay, I would work. say that I've been to an all-boys school for 10 years, and I think this is God's way of making up for it. Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't I'm get kidding. it. Girl. <laughs> Give, give you some time to understand. No, oh, okay. she's shady. She's saying that there's nothing to get. No, no, the thing is, the thing is, um, I didn't believe in gyms before, but then okay. maybe they exist. Yeah, they exist. They do. You, so wow. Completely new news for me. This is new okay, information. Then. No, so basically, I I hit the gym from time to time. I love you know those fitness bars. Right. At okay. uh, neighborhood areas or at street the beach. Like, oh. Street workouts, calisthenics. Yeah, you can put one in your house. Calisthenics. Yes, right. I, think, I, think, I think that's nice. I mean, okay. it's a, the cheapest form of exercise, yeah. body weight. You and can do it anytime. Any yeah, and yeah. also 24 7, you know, so that's actually pretty good. And mm. I walk out with the boys. Uh, Okay, I don't want to sound like a oh my God, with the gym boys. rat, but I, I, I like to do it every day. Okay. I try to do it every day. You know, start right. in the morning well and then... What does that mean? Just saying, like, you guys it's, uh, it's been one and a half days and yeah, he does work out every night every day, so I've seen it. Every so. night or every morning? Depends. Both. Both. 
I mean, you do have your rest days, right? That's yeah. important as well. So. But I mean, yeah, it, it, it's a good start for me in the morning. Yeah. Okay. And also, like, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about um, people you do, uh, trying out calisthenics instead of going to the gym. And they say it's like, it's better, I guess, because like then you have like a full range of like the areas that you work. Entire body. You know what? All of us should do like a, a workout, something fun together. Yeah. You know? Can you lead it? Can you lead it? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We should start with, we should start with, okay, so. start with yeah, exercise. Okay, okay. Okay, um, or we can then, with, like dance. Yeah, then Ali can, can like dance. A little space. Absolutely. And then we can yeah. fence. <laughs> I don't want to fence. I don't want to fence. <laughs> I don't like working out. I love working out, but I don't like okay. fencing. You'll get there. Just, this. Just watch Tall Little Space. Well, so what are you saying? <laughs> no, I was telling. I was telling the audience. Say, say, like, I was telling the audience. Like, uh, the minute that Luke suggested that we all do the workouts, uh, Tall Little Space just is like, no, so like, uh, no, okay, look girls, at her. Girls, yeah. Who think has the bigger biceps? Oh my god. Hey, no. Why are you I think Luke. <laughs> really? No. I think yeah. Cause I feel like wait, you didn't wait, work wait, wait, out. Wait, wait, I, I feel like you stopped working out for a while. Oh, I still do it. It's hey, a tight shirt. You have to both flex at the same time. Did you? We can't see. I don't yeah. believe you left. <laughs> uh, overslept a little bit today. I don't believe you left. Muscles are still asleep. I'll pause that for later. Yeah. Wait, wake, wake up. up. Wake up. <laughs> it takes about two weeks for Excuse me. <laughs> Plus, well, I mean, everyone kind of stopped working out because of the circuit, circuit break. No, everyone started working out because well, of the circuit break. Yeah, but it's not the same. You, you, go the, oh, you go to the gym, right. it's kind of different. Yeah, you can't get the weights right? and everything. Oh, yeah. you know what? Yeah. Like, if anyone says push up to me, I'll snap because I oh, can't. I, push up I can't wear a push up bra, okay? Like, <laughs> nobody say push up, it's my triggering word. I think nobody asked. That's pull the, <laughs> the important part. No, pull, pull ups is the worst, probably. Uh, I don't like pull ups. Pull -ups. Push -ups. I could do five at I one point. Wow. Well, I can't All right. do one. Okay. Do, you, like, do you remember before NS used to be only three stations? They used to have pull up, sit and reach, blah, 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 blah. Five. 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 Yeah. yeah, whatever. Yeah. Like. Now it's only sit up the... and push up, right? And the run. run. And the run. run. Yeah. yeah. What? For, For army? Uh, for army, army fitness, yeah. generally. Fitness Last time they had like extra two. Yeah. 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 yeah, and now they're only Change. three. I used to fail <laughs> because I can't oh. pull up. Okay. Uh, only the pull-ups okay. because I hate pull-ups. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I always can't be bothered to train my pull-ups. So when they eradicated that workout out of the regime. Okay. Uh, but do pull-ups come naturally for guys? No. No. Okay, maybe. And, like everything yes. is a training. No. I yeah. feel like guys really. I have more upper body strength than Women, right? Yeah. Not so true, naturally. I think. No, I think naturally. Sure. Agree to disagree. What do you mean naturally? Generally. No, I, I think know, generally you have no, more yeah. upper body strength than we do. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, that's what we're talking about. Because we give birth, right? Is it? What? Is it? Ew! What are we talking oh. about, guys? I'm From me to like, I'm out of this conversation. Um, no, I think <laughs> what's I, going what on? I feel <laughs> is that it also, you have, you have to take into consideration because I felt that I couldn't do pull ups that well because I was a heavy kid. Oh. Right, okay. Like you know, and I wasn't even training like last time, you know. Mm -hmm. So like yeah. my weight played a major role in me not being able to do push-ups. And now like you know, I'm working out. I'm not taking care of myself, so it's easier now that in comparison to then. So like I mean, it's just like you need to train. Or we don't. I don't feel that it's, it comes naturally. Yeah, okay. definitely. Yeah. If you lose, if you stop doing something, your muscle deteriorates, right? And then yeah, it yeah, becomes guess. harder for you to do it. When do you when do you guys start working out? Especially for start you. working out or stop oh, working out? I started start, 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 start. Like, I was seven when I started doing gymnastics. Oh, you did gymnastics? And then I, and then I hit my head, hence this. Oh. <laughs> so I had to quit. What's this? I was doing a um, handstand kind of okay, on, yeah, on the yeah. parallel bars. Oh, yeah. And oh they were God. too wide apart, and then I, I, I fell. Hence the buffalo. Your head. Yeah, <laughs> hence the buffalo. Oh, no. <laughs> too much. You hit your head as well. <laughs> I, I think did. so. I think so. And then I switched to Aikido, which is like a... Oh, yeah. martial arts, yeah. yeah. Mm. And then I did Athlete. boxing. <gasps> After that, I did uh, football for okay. six years. Nice. Hi. Nice and then to I meet switched, you. And then football. I switched to fencing and started doing that for about nine years and became... Wow. Yeah, so are we all sporty people here? What was, like, what was that? Wait, wait, wait. What? Became number one in Singapore. Woo! Oh, wait, yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't like to brag about it too much. From the... What, Aikido? No, no, no. <laughs> Fencing. Oh, fencing, fencing. Fencing. Yeah. Fencing, yeah. Okay. You have to teach us how to do that. Yeah. 
was better in my junior years though. That's under under twenty. I'm sure the skill is still there. Technique yeah. is still yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like riding a bike. That's great though. Yeah. Wait, can I ask? Like, was it when you switch when you switch like your sports, right? Mm. Is it you do it willingly or you choose to do like Aikido, you choose to do fencing? Or some were like, willingly, some were my parents put me in. Mm. Okay, oh. so I'll tell you a story of how I started yeah. fencing. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. I was really like into gymming, like you know, all those 14, 13 year old right. boys, they all wanna like Cause like puberty hits and you wanna like <laughs> hang out with chicks and stuff and like get Were you one of them? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know. How old were you? 14. 14. 14. And then and then you start to work out a little bit but nothing is working so then my mom saw Ironically. Me, then my mom uh, <laughs> saw me struggling so she was like, um, Hey Lev, you know I actually found this coach. Uh, he does fencing but he will teach you how to gym as well. And then I was like, okay. So she tricked me into participating in fencing. Oh, I went in smart. for like one lesson. The guy didn't teach me anything about working out. Just gave me a sword and was like, okay, now you, <laughs> now you defend yourself. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And then it kind of worked out and uh, I kept to it. Kept but, do it. You, but do you manage no, to you get like your workout, your workout routine and things like that from your coach? Definitely. Well, I did, but it, it had nothing to do with you know, muscle Lifting hypothermia, which is... Hyper oh, okay! Muscle. I'm ranking! Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh god! I always want to scream go. at this part. Girl. What did that girl just say, okay, girl? Let's okay, let's start this. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. Can I? Oh, yes. <laughs> Bring it up. Bring it up. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Well you done, guys really it. like me! Yeah. Yeah. Who knew? <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you! Okay. You jumped two ranks. How about the next one? <laughs> Who's hey, counting? Is the second. I'm so Who's counting? Who is it? Who is it? Ooh. The suspense. It's killing me. It's killing me. Yay! 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 Congratulations! Thank you, thank you. TikTok kids! Yay! TikTok kids! TikTokers! Okay, let's move on. In third place, we have. I think it's going to be Owie for you. I'm not gonna guess. I think it's Ali. Ali. Come on. This stresses me out. Ranking, ranking stresses me out. Yeah. Tree, tree, tree. Is there gonna be a number seven? <laughs> no, there'll be a number eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go number nine. You're laughing at that one. Hey. That again yesterday. Oh, yeah. I just love brick colors. <laughs> Don't call me out. Number four. Lev, it's just gonna be us. It's Lev, it's Lev. Oh, no, 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 it's Lev. No, uh, I'm, I'm sticking no, to No, you're yeah, sticking to one, guys. <laughs> it's a daily rotation. <laughs> I never do this. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I, I think it's Ali. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Not gonna get it. Yay! Oh, no. <laughs> Consistency. Oh, Consistency! Oh, no. This is like a foreshadowing. Sit. Sit here. Okay. Who is it gonna be? <laughs> Who is it gonna be, guys? I don't know. It's Ray. It's Lev. Yeah, I think we're just gonna switch between. Hey, it's, it's oh yeah, it's always switching, so I think yeah. it's Lev. Let's see. <laughs> right? No. <laughs> right? No. Please just try and make. Yeah. Yeah. It's always. <laughs> yeah. The same and camera catch it. Yeah. Lev, Lev, come on. Lev, 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 Lev. Yeah, I think it's Lev. Oh, don't do this to a grandma's nerves. Come on. My hairs are standing. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was loud. So, uh, 
processing. The war will switch again. <laughs> and last but not least, we have Miss Darling here, of course. Number six. Yeah, Congratulations. No, Queen is always late. <laughs> Tell you, Ricky. Yeah. Okay. All right. If it wasn't for your vote, I would have gotten third. <laughs> I know you. Ali, wait. But your face that... yesterday where? Huh? My face. Yesterday you're ring your face. Oh. See? Hey, My hey guys. Oh. Woo! Rina. Okay, but anyway, first things first. Anyway. Miss Salil, yeah. what do you feel Ms. about Salil. finding out that you just got first? I uh, feel. Like, were you expecting Absolutely. that people like really like, like you? you or? Wait, could you repeat the question? So like, how do you uh, feel getting first? Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so I would like to thank everyone watching, and um, I would like to thank my parents. I would like to thank all of you. And, and then the background music starts playing. Yeah, of da, 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 la, la. <laughs> okay, and then the next one will be um, Mr. Lev here. Uh, how how's it like um, jumping one rank up? <laughs> It honestly feels amazing. Like I'm not used to being lost, so uh, at least this this time I get the favorite. You know. Sorry, can you, can you just say that again? Zinedine Zidane, Woo! right there. Zinedine Zidane is a football player who was okay. playing oh, on the okay. uh, yeah. number five. Huh. Anyway, I got it. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay. So yeah, feels very good. Now what? Look, like you jump up another rank, right? Like, what do you feel? Um, I feel good. Okay. I mean. As much as this is a competition, I think we all had fun. I had so much fun I yesterday. Had so much fun. You know, so yeah. Especially the last game, we could reenact re re that again or recreate it. I think, hands down, best game best ever that game. we played. Yeah. So I think this is just part of the competition, but we all had fun, right? Yeah. And we it's did. all about different things every day and learning. Exactly. So, Miss Ray, um, don't be bad about number six. No, at I'm so all. happy. Oh. You guys cheered for me last, so I'm the most remembered. Of course. I love yeah. you. I'm the most memorable. Right, I know it sucks. I felt like terrible oh yesterday. No. Oh no! You said you felt fine. You You're like, you guys were fine. I'm not used to it. You need to start to talking to us about your feelings because yeah. we don't know what's going on inside. I'm not the person who shares feelings all the time, you know? So I okay. like to keep them to, to myself. This is I'm, uh, no, but but it's, it, is, it is very bad. So, you know, if you yeah. need a word yeah, or something, we're there to help you. Although, I, I, do, I still have to tell you that I had so much fun making that TikTok with you. Thank you. Yay. And playing with makeup. Uh, <gasps> Can we do it again? Think about that. Uh, <laughs> no, say yes. Then you'll jump another rank tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Ah! Absolutely. Yeah. Now you're the yes man, yeah? Yes. Okay, you watch out. Yes. Uh, <gasps> and you come back here now? Okay, Make you do push up. <laughs> push up. Thank you. Oh, okay. okay. Some coffee. That was, that was chill chill. It was chill uh -huh. chill. That was fun. Yeah. I just always nerve wrecking right in the. Does anyone want some hundred plus morning? Then it gets mm. yeah, it it's, it's, it's like wake up. Yeah, it's continue my day. Yeah, I'm awake now. Yes, I'm awake now. <laughs> okay, so on a regular day, right? Mm. If you guys weren't here, what would you guys be doing? Okay, don't say sleep. Don't say be sleeping or whatever. But like, okay, I can tell you like my general day. Okay. Wake up, work out, meditate, get breakfast, get to my work, and then probably get on a call with a friend. This is like by evening, so mm. I do freelance stuff, so I work at home. Okay. Probably will end around like six or seven because I like to plan my schedule. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then probably call a friend or something, get on a group call like over Zoom or something. Okay, that's nice. That's and then I'll try to like read a little bit, do a face mask, and sleep. Okay, that makes sense. How about you? Mm -hmm. A cheek routine. Actually, cheek. <laughs> a cheek. Oh, cheek. Cheek. Oh, okay, cheek. Okay. Mm. Um, actually, really similar. Right. So I mean, I wake up, mm. and then I would drink some water. Mm -hmm. So in detail, I take some supplements, mm. brush my teeth, and then I'll read my book, and I'll journal a little bit, um, and then I will start work. So I start work, work, this is like 10, no, maybe 9, 10 ish. Okay. So my morning routine is about 45 minutes ish. Mm -hmm. So I do work, do work, do work, have lunch. But the thing about my family is, especially during this circuit breaker period, we're so lazy to buy food. Yeah. So we'll just sit yeah. at home. If my dad goes out to buy, they're like, okay, we'll have lunch. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's very unhealthy. It's actually right. quite bad, okay. yeah. Mm. So we have lunch, then we have dinner, and I just work pretty much the whole day. And then at 5 p.m. I have a workout session with my sister. Oh, that's I've, cute. Got, I've got a question. Yeah. Okay, 
um, we've all had an equally amount of time in quarantine together, as yeah. in individually with our families, right? Yeah. Yes or no? And be truthful, okay? okay? Do you agree that spending too much time with family is good or bad? I actually enjoy spending time with family. Same. Around. Okay, so you've got one, yes? Got to know them I don't live with my family, so I really miss them a lot. I okay. haven't seen them okay. since. Okay, so default another category. Okay. I say yes, because yes. generally I don't get along with them. And the last two years, I've been gone. Like, I haven't been in Singapore every three months. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is actually the longest period of time I've been with my family stuck in the same house. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, sorry. So, Ray. Definitely yes. Yes. Because I think as freelancers, or you know, people, all of us, we have so many things in our schedule. Right. We're working, we're doing other things outside. Sometimes I don't have time to just come back to have dinner with my family. Right. And now I have so much time to do that. Right. It doesn't feel like I need to plan time because time is there to spend with them like mm -hmm. every single minute. Mm. So I really appreciate it. But if it drags on for another month, my answer might be different. Yeah. <laughs> it's like too much. Okay, yeah, I know. I know. No, I'm Andy, not. what about you, man? To be honest, like, um, I mean, I all miss our family, but uh, I feel for the past two months, for the past two months, um, it has been a wreck. Um, I don't necessarily feel comfortable at home most of the time because um, I live in a family household full of like seven people. Right. And it's a three-tier three generation family. So I have my grandparents, I have my parents, I have my sister and I, and then I have one autistic uncle who lives with us. So mm -hmm. it is a challenge every now and then to like, you know, wake up every day hearing people shouting. Mm -hmm. um, and like people, like it's really shouting every single day and mm -hmm. it's really freaking annoying. So um, yeah, and I guess like the most cliche thing that... Uh, that people will say like absence make the heart grow fonder. I yeah. think that holds really true for me because when I was overseas, I remember that I told my sister that I miss my mom a lot. And it's not something that I usually say, but at the same time, when I got back, that was when all hell broke loose, I feel. Mm. Can I interest you? Uh, no, 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 it's okay. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> but I will take it, thanks. Just in case. Yeah, but so it's like, uh, I feel... And I guess it's like different families are different and to be honest, I feel like if possible in the future or whatever, like, um, which I don't think will happen, but um, I would love to have to miss my family like every time and I would love to come home to a peaceful, tranquil abode. But unfortunately for me, that is not how it works at home and I have resigned to the fact that the only way for me and my family to get together is to not see each other that much. Right. Yeah. yeah. I see. So, that for a while as well. yeah. So, because when we see each other too much, I feel that we get too comfortable with each other that we tend to fight and bicker about the most little things. And, like, it's really annoying. It's, it's not nice waking up to, like, people screaming yeah. in your face. Yeah. And, like, maybe, like, your, auto your autistic uncle is, like, throwing a tantrum and like uh like doing a lot of like things which cause a lot of stress on the family okay. so it's really quite difficult for me so right. yeah i really admire you guys with like really amazing family values no. but uh, I, no, I, actually, I wish i had that right. no i think that all of us we have our yeah. struggle with family once in a while and actually I have a question which is all of us we do things we're chasing our passions I don't know I feel like we're quite artsy we do a lot of like things that might not be conventional mm -hmm. so have you ever had to struggle with like parents or anybody like not yeah, wanting I you think. to do what you do and how do you really like deal with that absolutely I think it's more of a the fact that we're a different generation and they yeah. struggle to understand the modern yeah. kind of aspects and approaches to things. Right. So it takes a while to get them to it. And I totally understand, Adley, how, like, you know, sometimes when you're away from them, you get to experience and learn more about yourself yeah. rather than getting influenced by your parents, which does happen even yeah. though, like, you all can be, you know, going out for walks with, with your dogs or something like that. But mm -hmm. if you constantly talk to them, you can't have an independent mindset. Yes. It's difficult. Right. Because can, but it's in Singapore, we're so used to living with our parents since young. 
right? And sort of they are the ones that teach us values and I really appreciate my parents for instilling certain habits and values in me. But it reaches a point of like, you're going to make your own decisions. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, you'll just be following someone else's path. La. But I think... Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I don't want to go. Nah, okay. No, I was just going to go on, on what you said of like being more artsy and creative and like feeling like you don't fit in maybe. I have five siblings. I know what it feels like oh. to live in a big household, okay? Um, I have five siblings and I'm probably the artsy creative one in the family. Mm. And for my whole life, I think I've always felt very different from everybody else. And like, you know, people want to play games, they want to read comic books, they want to do stuff and I wouldn't feel included. I wouldn't feel like it's something that I'm interested in. Yeah. And growing up in a family that's that big uh, and everybody basically almost the same age, it's very easy to fall into a like, family politics where mm. people will group up or gang up and be like we're not going to play with you or we're not going to let you really? do this yeah in yeah in wow. sibling yeah I'm so, the only child so I wouldn't lucky you, know. you I used to tell people I was an only child because I didn't want them to know oh, wow yeah I thought I thought when people are like with siblings and big family they always get along and stuff no I guess different families are yeah. different but I do have a friend who has five siblings and their family is just like the most loving yeah. I think my family grew to become more understanding but it wasn't like that growing up. That's nice. Yeah, and because I was very emotional and I was very sensitive, yeah. I'd always be called overdramatic, oversensitive. Alyssa, stop playing the victim. Like, Alyssa, stop making all of this about you. Mm -hmm. And then I would feel bad for that because it's like, am I making about me? But it's just how I feel. Yeah. And they don't know how to process that, you know, people can feel maybe on a, on a deeper level because a lot of things that they said and stuff, to them, it's just a passing remark. Yeah. But to me, it's something that stays for a long time. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, <laughs> I, I totally resonate with that. Yeah. Even even though even though like I feel like I don't I only have my sister, but um, I can resonate with the big family household part, and it's. I feel that it's worse for you because it's like it's your siblings and they rile up against you, right? So like they're supposed to be your best friends, and sometimes like ultimately different family households are different. Right. So I think the common denominator here is that everyone is like different like we're all different in our family mm. and i feel the same way even though i don't live in my family anymore i can totally relate because my entire family unlike everyone else's is creative Lovely. and so i didn't have that skill entirely to be creative as as creative as my siblings so i've always had that chip on my shoulder where i don't feel like i'm good enough which is also why i feel like I need attention from people. Yeah. I'll give you my attention. Oh. But, but before I give you all my attention, can we like dress down a little bit? I feel very... <laughs> I, need to I know, yeah. I can't breathe. Yeah. I want to handle. I want to... It's going to rain. Come on, sure. man. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll see you guys in a bit, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Last call. Anyone? Any girls? Yeah, too girl. late, Leo. Too late. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, Sassy's back. <laughs> Alright, you guys. You guys. Miss Sassy. You good? Cute. Okay, just in time. Join me? Oh yeah, I actually want to talk to you and so. Okay, I'm heading to Celeste's room as well. Ray, you can come on as well. Hey. hey. Party, party. Party, party. Partying, party. Are you guys feeling okay? Yeah. Okay. A bit emotional, but generally good. Yeah. yeah. Um, sorry. I just want to talk to like the two of you specifically because like oh, I feel that um, it's your family dynamics are really, really like different than mine i mean we have the same we have the same um what do you call that uh the like big family. the big family household thing but i want to know from Seoul, like because you live alone now right then like how are you like how's your family like because i under i i, I want to know more about that and I'm quite curious to be honest i don't really like talking about mm -hmm. my family yep. because I had been living away okay. since I was 18 so it's been oh my goodness we just yeah and it's not that it's not that I have a bad relationship with my parents I just don't have a um, strong like family oriented mentality 
So I didn't I didn't want to I didn't want to interrupt any of you when you were talking okay, about yeah. it earlier because mm-hmm. I honestly cannot really relate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But I I mean I I do I do I get it. I get that everyone has their different like vices and I get I everyone has their different struggles and stuff and um you know mine is just the complete opposite of yours. I mean it's mm-hmm. no, I mean no one struggles any less than anybody else's. Mm-hmm. But um yeah and Yeah, I get it, but I just I I don't like talking about it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But in this case, then like um, do you have any siblings? Uh yes, I have two older siblings. Like I'm the youngest one. Oh okay. Actually, uh, but no, as I was saying earlier, um, it I I come from a family of creatives, so my mom she she runs a chain of ballet schools. Mm. So we all grew up doing ballet. So me, mm. my sister, and my brother, but um. When I was born and when I I started ballet at four, mm. but I just didn't have like the feet for ballet to go on point shoes and stuff like that. So, um, my mom tried to get me to do other things like play the piano, play the violin, play the cello and stuff like that. And I never really was interested in any of that. And then, ultimately, like as I was growing up, you know, I I excelled in academics and you know I was doing well in school, like all levels. I did reasonably well. And um, my life just started like just started going into a direction where I was going to be like a corporate person, right. like an office person, and it made me feel inferior to both of my siblings, and it made me feel like I was left out of my family because I just didn't have any creativity in me, right. or I didn't have any like um, any particular skill. So mm-hmm. I mean, I laugh. About it, <laughs> like you know, I'm like I don't have any skills yeah. and stuff. Like, I do laugh about it, but um, truthfully, like it's it's actually one of my biggest insecurities mm. that I'm not I'm not talented. Like I'm not an expert in anything. Like I can do stuff, mm. but doing it well necessarily is not my strong point. Okay. Which you know, honestly, like I'm so I'm so. <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way, but I'm so envious of you guys because you have specialties, mm. and I don't. You mm. know, that's why I have to make it up, make up for it with like bravado, mm. and I guess that's why a lot of people may not necessarily take to me as mm. easily as mm. I would like. No, I mean honestly, I feel that first impressions. Like I felt that. You have such a strong character, and I yeah. really admire that. However, I really felt that I really wanted to get to know you more, and like listening to this is like really opens up. Uh, I'm crying yeah. a lot on this show, yeah. but I don't know why. But it's just that like, <laughs> I really wanted to get to know you more because it's like I feel that you know a lot of people say like the happiest people, like the most confident of people, are the most saddest of people. So like I, because I feel that because like a lot of people may think that people like us, we are like. Oh, ha ha ha! Every day, and then we just laugh our insecurities off, and like you know that people portray that as confident, mm-hmm. but people don't understand. People don't understand where like deep inside, like we might be hurting. They don't yeah. see that, yeah. and like listening to what you just shared, it's like it makes me understand you more because like it's it's difficult, especially like. Um, there are different types of extroverts, right? So there are people like me who are like ha ha ha, but then you have like the cool, mysterious people, which I, which you gave me the first impression of, and live, live. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which that one also I need to talk to him also. Yeah, yeah. he asked you. Yeah, so it's like what I realized is that if you ever feel that you are not part of a clique or you're not part of a group, like don't feel bad about it, because you're you're just you 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 don't have to conform. And change your interests, and change what you like, and change how you have fun, just to be part of a group. You can try, but if you can't, don't force it because you're gonna make yourself feel uncomfortable. So I know that I do better in one-on-one conversations. So today, I'm just gonna find more time to get to know my stuck mates a little bit better on a one-on-one basis, more than just always going for the conventional fun. I think that's the reason why. You know, I was put in six because I just don't have fun the same way. Like I don't know some songs, I don't know some movies, I don't know how to talk about theater and stuff. And that's just how the way it is. That's not me. I can't force it. I can't go and Google and research at night and immediately become like a theater person and be part of the gang. And that's not who I want to be because that's not me. Um, so yeah, it kind of reminded me a little bit about back in uni days where I wasn't part of a clique, but it doesn't affect me. Doesn't make me go like, ah, Xian, 
Uh, it's just a feedback for how I can do better. Yeah, so today I will talk to more people one-on-one. -on -one. Hello! Hi. Do you want to sit here? Yeah, talk? sure. I just was like... Wow, this is... I'm sorry, my room's really messy. Wait, can, can I? I it's okay. To... <laughs> I was thinking of going to the empty room. Sure. Let's go into the empty room. Okay, you see? Empty room. Nice one. Nice one. No, so if you're hearing what the loop... How do I put this? I can just put it here. No, so if you're hearing what the... Where's Luke? Oh, he's, he's just, just yeah, he's just chilling oh. by himself, by himself. Thinking, thinking about <laughs> the next steps, I guess. <laughs> Working the next out steps. something. Yeah. Working out again. Yeah. How do you feel about I it? I actually want to hear how you feel first. Oh, dude, I felt absolutely terrible. I mean, I already but spoke you, about this to Luke. You're saying like I know, you're but fine. that's that's the the person I am. I'm not very like you know open to people that I just met. So it's one of those things. I think it's a, it's a cultural thing, to be honest. I'm very like modest in a way. Um, uh, not modest, sorry. Very reserved right, when right. it comes to um, you know opening up to people I don't know. Right. Which is weird because like in my culture, actually people think that I'm I'm way too expressive, but apparently really? now I'm not. Yeah. No, I I don't think you're alone. It's just that all of us are very extroverted, so that is normal to open up so easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but sometimes. If you're different, it's fine. Yeah, you gotta be comfortable. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, yesterday I just felt pretty bad because I'm just not used to like being at the bottom. So it's a pretty terrible thing. And, you know, people weren't really there to support me. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, well, look, and Celia spoke to me too, a little oh, I'm bit. I'm so sorry. I felt like That's I was okay. too low. <laughs> no, because I honestly, as an extrovert, I have a problem with confrontation right. and also. Sometimes I feel like I don't know if I'm overstepping my boundaries of mm -hmm. asking things that are personal. So I was afraid that if I talked about it to you about it, that it would infringe on certain like boundaries that you had. Because mm -hmm. you do seem like someone that's a little bit reserved at first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's, be uh, it's probably best that I didn't speak to everyone yesterday. So it's, it's, it was okay that I just kind of kept it to a few people only. Um, mm. The ones that, that asked. Um, but, but yeah. What it, does it mean? As in, being ranked six, what does that mean to you? Well, it's, it's the bottom, right? <laughs> like, no. you can't go any, any lower <laughs> than that. So it's, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's facts. It's, it just sucks, man. <laughs> like, emotionally. It's just right. uh, not a very, like, cool thing to come and, to come and last, no matter how, how much you want to kind of shadow it. But in reality, you know, We'll, we'll grow through this. So, right. you know, you gotta, you gotta come last to rise to the top, as they say. Right, right. Yeah. I think I would say that, even though I like to say that I'm not affected by it, yeah. there's always that little bit yeah, yeah. that you are, that you cannot lie. It yeah. just affects you a little bit. You're like, Sien. It's like failing an exam, basically, you know? Or something what, like a social that. exam? A likability exam? No, like a, like a test. Like <laughs> right, a math right. test or something, right, you know? Right. How, like in Singapore schools, for example, we're always like, mm -hmm. r uh, even even at the end of the school year, like people are ranked and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of, I mean, it obviously gives you a sense of like that competitive spirit. Yeah. But um, in the social, you know. I want to say though setting, that like in the social setting, there is no better than the other. It's just that people are different. So I, I so as well. right. So I, I actually went to think about it. I actually went to think about it at night last night. Yeah. I know I was ranked five yesterday, but I went back last night and I was like, is there anything that I did wrong, or is there anything I could do better? Mm. Why? Right? I used it as like a feedback tool because I just want to know why. Like, is there a reason why? And I thought about it. I was like, maybe I just don't relate to certain topics they talk about. Like mm. you know. Ellie is like a very theatre person. She knows a lot of people in the industry. Soli has worked backstage before and stuff like mm. that. I mean, and I mean, Luke's a model. And they sort of like have common topics of interest like and stuff like that. Like mm. the movies that they watch, the songs that they listen to. And I cannot just like magically know all of them. So sometimes during conversations, it's hard for me to go like, ha 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 ha. I think it's important to just ask. Like the more questions you ask, the more you're going to find out about different industries, different people, no, you know, yeah. what they do. Stuff like that. Just be like generally inquisitive, and you will, uh, yeah, and that's how you get to 
right. relate to certain things that people know. Right, right. But yeah. It made me feel a bit like when I was in uni uh, and right. I wasn't part of like a clique. Yeah. Right? Like what common, like my friends would talk about, I didn't really like, I mean, you know, people would just yeah, come yeah, and yeah, gossip absolutely, absolutely. and like talk about stuff and I wasn't the kind that would do that. So it kind of felt a little bit like that. It just reminded, it was like reminiscent, whatever we went through was just reminiscent of how I felt in uni. So it brought back a little bit of those memories. I was like, oh, damn it. Yeah, no, I mean, with me, if, you know, studying here, I didn't fit in straight away. Right. Uh, so it took a while, but it also makes you learn that, you know, you've got your own personality. You have yeah, to push, yeah. push into that. It's difficult though, because you know, some, sometimes you're not liked by other people, but yeah. um, at least you, you have that, uh, you know, that... You find of, your that, own tribe. Yeah. yeah. It's not only about, about tribe. The other, the other people will find you, you know? That's true. I'm sure That's you have true. other friends yeah. outside of... Yeah, uh, yeah you know, right? definitely. That you probably super close to that wouldn't... Yeah. You know, gossip about you and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like people who get you. Like yeah. People who get your like humor. People yeah, yeah, who Get yeah. what you do. They love other things. I mean, people yeah. who are like you, similar to you. Definitely. What are What are most of your friends like? Come from as in not right. country, but uh, uh. In terms of industry. No, no, no. Like years wise. Right. How long Actually, long? most of my friends, my closest friends now, are people that I only just met within this year. All right. Yeah. So there are people who mm. also do the similar things as I do. Like they do training, they do coaching, they do personal development. Because I changed a lot from first year of uni to now. Mm. Um, when I was much younger, not that I'm very old, but mm. when I was in my 20s, I was a club promoter. Yeah, so I, promoted I, I, was a, I was a club really? promoter as well, yeah. Which clubs did you promote? Ultimate. <laughs> Ultimate. Ultimate's my favorite. I promoted Ultimate for a little bit as well. No. Yeah, back in 2015, yeah. Oh my god. I, promo I promoted at Bang Bang. I, promoted I did too. Wait, we might be at the same company. Maybe. I don't know, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, so it was very different because like that people knew me back then as like Ray who just had fun and I never really talked about my feelings that much because you just have fun. You, you, you party to block out feelings. Mm. Why would you really talk about feelings in that sense? Yeah, so that, a lot of my friends yeah, that back is very then, true. Yeah, a lot of my friends back then knew me as that. And when I changed to go towards doing things like training and coaching, and I'm sure when you started doing things related to stand-up or directing and more towards like the career side Actually, of thing, do you yeah. lose the, kind of lose the friends? No, no, I wouldn't say so. Uh, I still maintain, you know, all, all my old relationships i have like the saying and principle that an old friend is better than two new ones really yeah i think i, I think it's a cool like just strategy to have for, right. for life because you know that those connections that you've built you know since the beginning of days they will be there for you and yeah. you've tested and proven that friendship <clears throat> those people will only if there. you have tested and proven yeah, yeah. but i want to say that i am very touched that you shared this uh, with me. No, problem. no I, I'm serious because like I think it takes a lot to share a little bit of your heart to someone else and I don't take it for granted. Definitely. Because it's tough and you know you never know how someone reacts so I appreciate it. No problem. Yeah. Anytime. Cool. Catch up with you later. <laughs> go out. Yeah. I'm thirsty as well. All right. The question we get asked the most about smart Wi-Fi is, can I get it here? You guys? <laughs> Over there? Yep, got it! Got what? Uh, you? Of course. Still got it. Still got it. Still getting it! And you in there? Get the best Wi-Fi coverage with StarHub Smart Wi-Fi. Still got it! Catch up soon. I think it's time for lunch scared. actually. What's going on? Wonder when that is coming in. Ooh. Oh, that must be it. What is that? What is that? Lunch. <laughs> what is that? Ooh. Hold this. <laughs> Hold your cat. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot of things. Wait, do you need our food? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, Mama. Food, food, food. Your drink is here. Thank you. Hi. Thank you so much. Thank you, love.
Oh yeah, we no, need to wash no. hands. Wash hands first. Wash, wash hands. Wash hands. It's important. Yeah. Bon appetit from Straits Cafe. Oh, look at the box. It's got Can a variety of different things. There's lamb. Okay. What's this? How do you know it's lamb? Seafood. Seafood. Okay, is that chicken? Okay, this is chicken. Lamb chicken. over here. This is all lamb, by the way. Oh, it's all seafood. We have dessert as well, guys. Oh. Right there. Where? Oh, here. Bon appetit. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. 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 I'm sorry. I want seafood. Can I get seafood? Oh, okay, Is there one? Oh. Yeah, thank you. Seafood or lamb? Sorry. Ah, oh, lamb's fine. Okay. okay. I just thought of another song. Um, yeah. Which one? What heck? <laughs> this actually looks good. Okay, so <laughs> box, right? Okay. Oh. So it's like a seafood box. What'd you get? And seafood? Yeah, this is a seafood box. <laughs> And then this is a seafood yeah. box, and this is a lamb. lamb. So look at the seafood box. The seafood one looks healthy. Yeah. It's very healthy. It has like uh, vegetables, the side vegetables, and then it has the, your meaty part, and then you have like the rice. Yeah. Yes. It actually looks really oh. good, and I actually yes, like that it's divided, <laughs> Change your actually, mind. Like, divided <laughs> vegetables because you know it gives a little balance of like your meal, and they have meat and they have rice, and it's delicious. What do you get? You get seafood as well, is it? Yeah, she's salt. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> You've got lamb. <laughs> oh wait. How many stuff? Oh, oh lamb. What? What? Uh, that is lamb. That's lamb and that's lamb. Three lambs. Lamb. So that's what you're that's lamb. 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 That's what you're gonna get. A lot of lambs. Okay. I am so hungry. Girl. I love this lamb joke. Okay, gonna... Oh wait, sit here. Sit there. I'm actually really hungry. Yum. Yeah. Alright. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh my, wow, this is I want good. water. Right. Anybody want water? Oh. This looks really, really good. Okay. Uh, I want uh, water. Okay. Yeah, got it. It's mine. It's okay. I'll yes, it's yours. Oh. oh. So, oh right. Thank you. Oh, it's actually it's yours. Good, eh? so, yeah. Wait, wait, what kind of cuisine is this? Thank you. What kind of cuisine is this, Joe? I think, uh, I think it's like biryani. Like it looks like, yeah, I like love. nasi goreng. I love. <laughs> okay, y'all see. I actually that. really love That's right. Achar. Yeah, this one. Like this little thing over here. Ooh, palate cleanser. I love Ooh. this thing. If anybody doesn't like vegetables, I'm right here. I love vegetables. Oh, I thought you were going to Sorry, can I get a uh, like, okay. Thank you. Oh. Utensils? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Let's put it in. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Like me. Yeah, that's why I'm sitting next to you. Oh. <laughs> Thanks me too, for me too, voting me. Too, me too. <laughs> I, I, put you, I put you. I put you. Number zero. <laughs> <laughs> I put left number. Oh, it's zero. above <laughs> number one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want. What is it? No, I don't. I don't know seafood. why. Seafood. Oh, seafood. Mm. Mm. I don't want. Mm. I'm actually mm. really happy. Mm. Thanks, guys. Mm. I feel good. I, mm. Did you feel good? And I think that because there's only like six of us in this house, like, mm -hmm. I don't, it, honestly, I feel like it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. But I really hope that everyone gets a chance to be. Number one? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. What were you guys talking about just now? Adley, I'll give you the honors. Okay, I mean, basically, just now we were talking about like, Mostly about family stuff because yeah. I really wanted to know like the dynamics of Alyssa's and Solis family. I mean, mm. not that I didn't want to know yours, but it's just that you know, yeah. in times we were talking about it. So like Alyssa was explaining because her family is like very like she lives in this household like a lot of people like same as me, and mm -hmm. so I was just talking about hers. Yeah. So what were we talking about just now? We were talking about so rude. <laughs> I still are talking about our family because I find that Alyssa's family dynamics and my family, my family dynamics are quite similar but I was really interested in finding out from Seoul yeah. so it's like, yeah, yeah. Mm. I want to take it away right now <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think it. the it. it threw me completely off earlier because right. you know, we were having right. like, such a fun conversation in the morning and then the whole ranking thing came up and yeah. I just didn't feel like it was really appropriate to you know celebrate or be sad about anything when mm -hmm. there are real problems like you know family problems that you and Alyssa right. have been through and stuff like that and um I, I i stayed silent only because i didn't really uh i couldn't really relate 
to um, what you were saying. I mean, mm. not not because I understand. didn't understand, yeah. but like it was because I and my family dynamic is a complete opposite. Mm-hmm. So we're not close. Mm. You know, we don't have a family orient, a strong family oriented like mentality or environment. So mm-hmm. I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to interrupt you. And I didn't want to interject when you guys were sharing things that are so close to your heart, mm. you know. So, but I really appreciate you guys sharing that with us. Mm. And I was just gonna say, like, you know, this is really like okay. To me, it's difficult growing up in environments that you grew up in, and mm. I feel so surprised that you guys are so well balanced. You know, you guys turned out so mm. you're so oh, well, normal. Thank you. No. you know. I think because, because of the fact no, like, like, <laughs> like it just shows how strong you guys are and you know behind like such a strong facade actually lies a lot of like obstacles that you had to you know overcome and to I mean to end up so being so balanced that is the best word I can describe yeah. you guys you're so mm-hmm. balanced because if yeah. I think personally if I were put in that situation I don't think I would made it I would have made it as far as you guys have mm-hmm. yeah and I, I mean, I really appreciate you saying that because, like, a lot of people they don't comment what's underneath all of these, like, ha 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 you know. So I, so I find, I find like getting acknowledged by someone who, like, after yes. being vulnerable, yes, it, yes. Or, like, yes. you know, it it, it, yeah. it makes you feel like you know you're accepted and like feel validated in a yeah. sense that yeah. what you said was. You know, it was your experience, and it was just as valid as anybody yeah. else's experience. I guess it's kind of like having a daughter for for guys. Like I'm kind of well, I don't know, mentally preparing myself. For, like, <laughs> what do you mean? Is that what you want? Is that yeah, what you want? You want a daughter? Are you ready? No, I'm ready. not. I'm not ready. But I guess like if I was if I was to choose between mm-hmm. like, boys boys or girls, I I choose girls because like mm-hmm. you get to same. Just understand the emotional. Well, you don't get to oh, talk with them. I think they have like you a. Yeah, too. Yeah, 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 too. Why not? Okay. Like, okay. So, mm-hmm. explain more about the daughter part. Like, why would you prefer like a daughter? So, like, you can connect more emotionally. Is it? Yeah, you just get to understand. You know, the, mm-hmm. I, I feel that with with girls, the emotional spectrum is so like it's way more diverse. Mm-hmm. So you can, you know, talk to her about. How how she feel? You can first of all, you can protect her mm. and have that you know strong, uh, strong value. Mm-hmm. And, um, and like, now I wish I had an <laughs> older brother. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a sister? I do, but she's she's an older sister. We don't really talk that much. So she lives. Hey, <clears> did you say you're a single child? I am. So I tell people. That I'm a single <laughs> child. Yeah, you're my, like me. My parents are divorced, but my dad lives in Russia with, uh, and my sister lives mm-hmm. there as well. Mm-hmm. Oh. So don't. You have. To just Sister? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so we don't really interact that much, which I kind of regret because, well, mm-hmm. yeah, we just didn't yeah. unfortunately grow up together. Yeah. You know? But are you like the only child? Mm-hmm. I have a sister and she's older. Yeah, three years older than me. Okay. So, uh, family guy, dyn- sorry? Mine's six. Six years older. Six years. Wow. Okay. Okay. Right, quite, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Family dynamics, yeah. Yeah, family dynamics wise, um, I think amongst us here, I would say that I'm, I'm rather fortunate. Mm. Uh, I did get to experience both sides of my mom and my dad's side. Uh, when I was young growing up, we always had this typical Saturdays, you know, every family would bring, my dad's side is it's rather huge. It's like 10, I have 10 uh, aunts and uncles, including my dad. No, Seven wow. boys, three girls, so mm. like, immediate family is it's large. Okay. It's huge, it's huge. And it's actually very fun because it's really, Busy, there's always noise, and yeah. it's fun. You know, I have so many cousins growing up, some amongst the same age, some older as well. And what I actually miss among uh, when women I talk about this right now is that as we grew older, mm-hmm. all of us started to not really drift, but we just grew up. Mm. Don't you don't you feel so? Even yeah, even let's no. say for friends, <laughs> yeah. or like you always have that relative that you used to hang share, out. yeah, hang out with or share, you know personal things with or secrets and then as you grow older you tend to move away not that family is going to be drifting but everyone got on with their lives mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Do, you, do you need a tissue nothing happened mm-hmm. okay we didn't see that. <laughs> and um mom's side mom's side is fun not as big as dad's so my mom is the eldest of five siblings so in total you have like 
Oh, okay. Mean, uh, uh, 100. My, uh, 100. <laughs> my dad's uh, side, my dad's side, I have actually 16 first cousins. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, what? it's... Oh. a big family. Uh, yeah. We are like, actually okay. preparing, sending a team up for the World Cup, so... Uh, I see. Yeah. Appreciate the support. Your <laughs> dynamics on your mom's side, you were, you were mentioning? Yeah, mom's side is... Uh, are you close up? Uh, I would say equally the same. Right. Uh, but for mom's side, um, me and my sister and I, we are the, we're the eldest mm. amongst all the cousins. So it's more like a role model kind of thing. Mm. You know, they look up to us. That side, I'm actually one of the, not the youngest, but one of the youngest. So we actually have older cousins mm. and um, yeah, both boys and girls to, to, to look up to. And I wouldn't say if I have to pick a side, honestly, I can't pick a side because mm. both offer different Dynamic. Sort of, yeah, different dynamics. Right. And I have a question, which is that you have so many cousins, I would guess. Right. So, have you ever been compared or like, oh, expected to do something because your cousins did that? You know, did your parents ever do that? Just a curious question. No, honestly, no. yeah, this is one thing that I'm thankful for. Even uh, That's nice. for school, especially, you know, when I first had my exams. Of course, every... Honestly, I think every Singaporean child can relate to this, you know. Which, yeah. which parent or actually any, any child can relate, which... Which parent doesn't want the child to do well in school, yeah. for example? You know, you don't want to disappoint your parents, vice versa. Mm, yeah. So, for me, I'm actually very, very blessed. I remember when I got my grades back, you know, my mom's and dad's only request was to just do well. They, ne they never said uh, expected grade, like, okay, you got to get an A, you know. Yeah, just yeah, say, just yeah. do well, do your best. They always say, do your best. Mm. And then, yeah, because your best could be better every day. <laughs> so, nice. yeah, honestly, I mean, I wouldn't say that maybe I wish that they had expectations because then again, it comes with pressure. Mm. And, you know, it's, I didn't know how to relate, honestly, in school. I see some of my peers, you know, how much you got? It's like, oh, I've got, mm. I've got C and he's like, oh, he's stressing out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yes. <laughs> I passed. Yeah, I passed. Yeah. Bro, I passed, bro. Oh, I got an A minus. Oh. Bro, A minus, bro. <laughs> No, but you know, that's very you know, interesting. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Yeah, Alex. That's very interesting because like when you talk about expectations and stuff and whether your parents place expectations on you or not, I think my parents were the kind where like of course they want you to do well and stuff, right. but they didn't have enough time to even really sit down with you and talk about your grades. So it was just like you know, you do well or not, we want you to do well, but you know, whatever you do is it's up to you. Question. Yeah, so Did you feel you had to compete amongst your siblings in that sense to outshine each other to get your parents' attention. You get what I mean? Mm, like outshine academically and then like the in things that way, we did. In any way, so that your parents okay. can like, you know, I focus think, on you. No, I think for me, um, it was more of like, you're fighting for their attention so that they would just sit and talk to you. Okay. Or you're just fighting for their attention so that they would spend some time with you. Or just ask you how was your day. Right. Not really like, I'm going to work super hard um, so that they would recognize that I achieved yes, something yes. and then they would give me attention. But it was like, you know, you do things like, mommy, can you spend like, you know, mommy, how? I know, I'm not feeling good today. Like things like that, okay. which would be well, more emotional. So yeah, rare. like trying to, yeah, just trying to get someone to notice I'm, you. I'm really. so not used to like people saying that, you know, they don't have enough attention from parents because like I was, sometimes it's too much attention. <laughs> Hey, 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 we don't need show off here, okay? No, no, but it's also, hey. it's, no it's yeah. I was always envious of that. Two, yeah, yeah. Two things. Of course, of course. Mm. Of course. Yeah. Right. Hey, you can overshare some to her. <laughs> like, yes, loan a child, you know? <laughs> Drop a form and <laughs> ship her away. My, my, my parents will adopt you. Or <laughs> 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 yeah, get a new girl. Right. Do you ever feel like you have to be like the perfect child or something? No, I always feel like I have to be a child and keep being a child in order for them to treat me like a child. Because you never really have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's why I don't get your idea of growing up. I feel like I never went How through that. How old are you? Are the siblings? Never had grown up. Sorry, because <laughs> Sorry about growing up. And I was like, wait, I never went through that stage. No, I was like, she never grew up. <laughs> Peter Pan. Anyone want to drink? I had a Peter Pan syndrome for the longest time. I think I still I have refused it. to grow you up. Look like Peter Pan. I refused to grow up. You look yeah. like Peter Pan. You look like Tinkerbell. <laughs> You're very But that's why, Lev, I feel like you have this really innocent charm. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, about Thank you. you. Thank that you. it's like I don't feel like you're a malicious person. I don't feel like you're a bad intention. Like you're just there and yeah. No <laughs> bad vibes. Happy, I don't know why good vibes. vibes. He's smiling when you say that. So. Well, I'm sure he has Does something he else to say after the game last night. Yeah lah. Oh my god. See, it's so big already. People play space. Speaking of the game, I I really want to ask you like, mm. why did you pick us? Mm. Because yeah. you guys are always talking about movies or like songs that you know, and it seems like you know a lot of similar things. So I was like, even if I don't know anything, like having these two people on my team, they can guess each other. Number yeah. One. So I was like, yeah. Hey, Good choice. Teamwork. <laughs> Teamwork. Teamwork. Hey. Number Teamwork. one. Good choice. I'm the generous. Number two. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she liked us. But if I she do. was using us. No, I do like you guys. But hey, no, it was a game, right? So of course I was like, yeah, I want my team to win. It's yeah. a, it's a mind game. games. Yeah, it's a game to you. It's a game. To you. It's a game. That was a game. <laughs> but yeah, but you still like close to your parents then, like now? Yeah, yeah. My mom and my stepdad. Okay. Sure. Yeah. How often do you spend time with them? Is it like a thing where you guys? Well, a bit out? too much recently because of the circuit yeah. breaker, right? But uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, so did all of us. Yeah? But generally, you know, I get I get home, say hi and bye. I mean, if we have something new that we right. found out, like some interesting news, we're always there to share it, comment on it. I mean, my mom likes to get into arguments, right. like debates and stuff. Not like offensive arguments, <laughs> just debates. <laughs> debates and stuff. And you know when you came to, um, I mean when you when you came to Singapore and you went into the, I mean you you went to school and things like that. Yeah. Um, I mean I'm just interested to know is there anything, how was your experience different from someone that's like, that looks like us right that like looks yeah. like us instead. So actually my whole life I've been to eleven schools. Eleven. Wow. Yeah. No. Wow. Stressful. You have to keep making it's quite new stressful, friends. But it also it makes you like stress free. <laughs> I kept my I kept all my old friends. So every oh. school that I've been to, I still maintain That's contact nice. with all the with all the yeah, people that I was handful, super the niche ones that I was super close to back then. Oh. So in Russia, I went to two schools. I was born in Saint Petersburg, which is like the cultural oh, city yeah, yeah. of Russia. And then I moved to Moscow. Then I went to another school there. I'm still friends with people there. Then I moved to Bahrain. Unfortunately, in Bahrain, we don't. I don't stick too close to the people from there because mm. we're like, I don't know. They all just disappeared for some reason. Um, but in in Dubai, I made quite a handful of, of good friends mm. that I'm still with. Do you ever ever feel like out of place? I'm just. Well, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, in the beginning, of course, it's always hard to, you know, come in, especially if you're the new guy, you come in and yeah, yeah and then everyone's got their, you know, regime settled, everyone's got their pace Please. and this new guy comes yeah, in and just kind of sticks out. Yeah, yeah. So, you, you have, it takes time to, you know, cut the edges off. You're really asking him, like... Curious question. No, they're really probing. Mm. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. like... Sometimes I feel, I personally I feel like I sometimes I don't know how to interact with people of different cultures because we don't have common interests. So since Lev technically you know even though you've yeah. been in Singapore for ten years, yeah, different culture. So I, I think, just want to know. I think how. the strategy is always the same. You just come in, be yourself. If it doesn't work out, analyze the situation, what is not working, and then try to kind of change it to the environment. But as well as don't forget to lose yourself. You know. I love that. Yeah. 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 And I guess. For me, I feel like that puts in a, to a lot of perspective because for me, I'm a very feeling type of person. Mm. So when I mm. when I go to my situations, I be myself, but then I don't put it in a way that you just put it for me because like like for me, I just I just want to know and understand people, you know. But mm. now that you mentioned that, I'm like okay, like because there are certain people might. Like being yourself is very subjective. People might like you. People yeah. not, mm. might not like you. So like by putting that, it makes me think like, okay, if let's say it comes to a situ situation where people don't like me, what am I going to do? Because mm. if that happens in real life right now, like before you say that, I was I will probably be like, okay lah, he don't like me lah, then don't talk lah. You know, that it will just shut me off because like I like I will give the impression like okay if this person doesn't have a good vibe with me, then I should just stay away because eventually like ultimately he he or she wouldn't. It wouldn't like me anyway, yeah. but that's one of the choices, I guess. But you can always take the next step and find out why he doesn't mm -hmm. like you, mm -hmm. yeah. and then try to see if it's it's really him being the problem, or maybe you're doing something wrong that you can yeah. adjust right. in yourself. How do you do that? Hey, why do you like me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's where you have to be a bit, you know, 
mild because obviously you don't want to become like with European people you, it's okay to be com confrontational and stuff you come in and you're like hey bro like, what's the problem tell me you know I want to work with you work with me let's do this together but with, with Asian culture people seem to be a bit more reserved uh, in, in sharing straight away what they don't like so you gotta you gotta like analyze and observe and then, so how do you how and then adapt you? When did you realize that you had to do that? <laughs> For yeah. a little bit. Analyzing out. Right? Yeah. Analyzing. Were you analyzing out yesterday? No, I was just tired. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I tell? So, like, for, the, for let's say Luke first, out, like, so like with that in mind, like how were you like growing up in like growing up in secondary school, primary school, secondary school, like? Like what's your experience? Like, was your, was your experience like fun? Were you like a jock? Were you like oh my like, god? Jock. Everyone <laughs> loves me. No. Everyone loves me. Okay, uh, don't really say this much, but yeah, um, yeah, that's what people think. That's what people think. That's what I wish. Honestly, okay, uh, when I was in school, I would, I would, let's, let's talk about secondary, primary, everyone is all, you know, young, you don't really feel the need to fit in. Actually, my best friends are from primary school until now. So am I. <clears throat> so do I, yeah. So, secondary, secondary wise, um, I felt like I, I had many friends, don't get me wrong, but what yeah, I yeah, wish, boys school, all boys school, okay. yeah, so I, what I actually wished for was that to have a fix, like a group mm -hmm. that, you know, you feel that you can belong, mm -hmm. so you, everyone shares their jokes internally. Like a clique? Mm -hmm. Yes, like a clique. I mean, there were sub cliques, but you know, it's not that I'm a, I was a social butterfly, but mm. you know, you always had friends here and friends there. So yeah. you could place yourself in situations where if it wasn't doing you any good or wasn't benefiting mm. you in any way, mm. you pull yourself out, put yourself in somewhere else. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That worked initially. Mm. And as I grew up, I felt it was super tiring. Absolutely. After a while, you just wanna, yeah, you know, yeah. I wanna yeah. keep certain conversations. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. To invest in a group of like fixed people. Mm -hmm. So instead of like sharing bits and pieces of yourself elsewhere, it's all in one. Mm -hmm. And that was nice. But I never had that um, luxury or I would say privilege because I would say maybe because I, most of uh, them didn't have much commitment in, in track and field. I was training. So, you know, every one, three, five a week, mm -hmm. I was busy training. Right. So mm -hmm. I felt that that could be a possibility. And one thing I'm, I'm actually glad right now is that, you know, as I grew up, the friends that I did meet and made in those sub clicks, we actually kind of got together. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, I mean, everyone can relate. I'm sure, you know, you have a lot of friends yeah. when you're this old. And now when you're older, you see that pool getting smaller and smaller. Yeah. And what is actually nice is that the ones that actually are left are the ones that matters the most. Mm. Yeah. And like, you really trust and really cares for you. Or like, Which relates to like, you were in your, you were from a communications degree, right? Right. Yeah, so like, I know for a fact that in comms, like, you have, a lot of people have the stereotype that they're all like, fake and things like that. Yeah. So like, how is it like for you in like, uni? At the start of the year, I just always, I just wanted to fit in. Yeah. Yeah. So I was very afraid that everybody will be so extroverted and so like amazing and crazy yeah. and I'll have to be that kind of person in order to fit in. Mm. Um, and I was trying so hard in the first year. Tiring, right? It's so tiring. It's like, you stay in hall. I, I stayed in hall, in hostel, and I would sit at the benches, 11 p.m. I'll just chill there, just in case anybody would go for, you know, supper so I can join in. It's just always wanting to be part of a gang and never have fear of missing out. Yeah. It was so tiring. And sometimes I'm, I don't even know the conversations they're talking about, but mm -hmm. I'll just like, ah, oh, yeah, ha, 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 you know, that kind of mm -hmm. thing. After a while, you realize that that is stopping you from chasing things that you actually want. Mm. Right, let's say I want to focus on working because I started doing more freelance jobs. Uh -huh. Right, and I had to say no to social events because otherwise I wouldn't have time for things that I want to do. But because of that, at the end of uni, I can count my number of close friends in like one, two hands. Maybe mm. one. Mm. <laughs> Less than one. Less than one hand. But those people that stay with you forever, they're the ones that, and someone, one of my friends told me this before and I literally got goosebumps. She's like, Ray, I actually don't know what you're up to, but I've seen your growth in year one versus now, and I think you're doing great. You should keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. And my hand was, my hand just stood up. Because, yeah, because that validation. Yeah, she's like, she might not get it, yeah. but she's like, you know, I see your growth. And I think that really, 
that really made me feel like you know I'm doing something good and stuff yeah. like that. So, and okay. yeah, no, because you were talking about about primary school and secondary school, yeah. and like all my life, I've been trying to just have affirmation and validation. Mm. Um, I was very lucky to keep having leadership positions in primary school and secondary school, mm. uh, but that also ha- is a double edged sword. So I always felt like I was that role model, and I cannot break. Like I cannot look upset. So I remember in secondary school, I was the president of my CCA, mm-hmm. and I was so frustrated at one point because people were not cooperating. Okay. And I felt like I kept. I guess maybe my leadership style wasn't great then. No, mm-hmm. when I met, I just like shout or or I keep like blaming mm-hmm. or whatever. So I was so upset, but I had to go to the toilet, and I was just like, oh my god. And I just cried and cried in the toilet, but I had to like, okay, I'm fine. And I go out, and I'm just this role model again. I'm the leader. I'm the president. And nobody has to like nobody can know that I'm feeling this way because it, they're gonna have that impression of me and think that you know this person can't lead us. Mm. Yeah. So that has taken a toll over the years. I feel like always having to put on the I'm fine mask. Mm. And my parents never knew I was going through this, it's which so is so weird. funny. Why don't you just Room, take it off, remove it. Right, right. So, n- over the past year, I've been more vulnerable on my Instagram. I use f- my Instagram as a way for me to share about this, mm. and it's so funny because my parents watch it and they listen to me. They're huge supporters, and they were like, "Are we bad parents? Ah, uh? mm. why I don't know all of this?" Yeah, and I'm like, guys, no, no. <laughs> I just yeah. never told you, right? I just never told you I was going through all that. I was feeling terrible. I felt very insecure. I mean, this is just one thing, but there's so many little things like feeling I wasn't good enough, feeling I was ugly. Mm-hmm. All these things I never told my parents because I didn't think that they would understand, and I also didn't want them to go like, "No lie, it's not like that. You're you're fine. You'll feel because sometimes they can't get it, mm-hmm. right? You're going through things." Yeah. You know, you know what the fear is is that you're not used to those com- com- like uncomfortable conversations with yeah. your parents. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then all of a sudden you have to talk about completely different topic that you've never spoken about before mm. and every time that happens I'm like mm, I don't really want to talk about it you know yeah. I'd rather yeah. stick to the usual uh, family setting right. yeah. okay last question did you feel that way when you came in here I think that I it was a little okay to be honest mm. it did remind me a little bit of what I went through last time not mm. that it is exactly it I feel like I've also grown on how I can manage situations, mm-hmm. but I sometimes feel like there are things that I don't understand. Like, I mean, I don't watch a lot of like movies, and mm-hmm. I'm not in theatre. I'm not in this entertainment scene, mm-hmm. so some of the things I don't know, mm-hmm. and it's kind of hard to go like, ah, oh, you know, and mm-hmm. and just get it. And I cannot just Google everything and be that person yeah. overnight. Yeah. And I also don't yeah. want to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I don't want to as well. You can just. I mean, if you don't know, you just tell I, us. I know, yeah. exactly. So definitely, I did feel that a little bit. Mm. Um, but I think this is a lesson learned for myself. Like, I really learned a lot just these two days about myself to mm. just speak up and go mm. like, and just ask, like, who's that? I don't know. Yeah. Which I have tried. I have been doing that, actually. I'm like, I don't know what's this. <laughs> yeah, you've tried it a lot of times. Like. <laughs> yeah, that's why I feel like that is like, the thing that everyone is so scared is to just ask. Yeah. yeah, like you know, like I I feel right now like most of you guys know a lot about music, and what I feel is that like I I just never I just never ask, cause shy. Okay, no. I ask you now. You want me to clear this for you? Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank I'm you. Done. I'm done. Okay. Me too. I'm done. Thank you. I want to drink water. Oh, that was good. Cool. Lit my hair. I didn't know yet.